Consider the neutralization of sulfuric acid by sodium hydroxide. What if a 25 milliliter sample of sulfuric acid solution is titrated with 0.500 molar sodium hydroxide solution and 25.00 milliliters of the base was required to reach the endpoint? What is the molarity of the sulfuric acid solution? In a titration, one reactant is gradually added to another until the equivalence point is reached. At the equivalence point, the mole-to-mole -mole ratio of the two reactants is equal to the ratio of their coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. A titration is designed so that a striking observation like a sudden color change occurs as close as possible to the equivalence point. This is called the end point of the titration. The end point of a titration is taken as the equivalence point. So the first step in solving this problem is to set the mole-to-mole -mole ratio of the two reactants equal to the ratio of their coefficients. The ratio of the moles of reactants 1 and 2 involved in the reaction N1 over N2 is equal to the ratio of their coefficients C1 over C2. By now, you should know that if a substance is in solution, we can calculate the number of moles of that substance present in solution by multiplying its molar concentration by its volume. In the problem we have here, both reactants are in solution. Therefore, the ratio of the moles of reactants 1 and 2 that have reacted at the endpoint can be written as M1 times V1 over M2 times V2. This ratio is equal to the ratio of their coefficients C1 over C2. At this point we simply assign the quantities given in the problem to the variables in our equation. Let's refer to sulfuric acid as reactant 1 and sodium hydroxide as reactant 2. It doesn't matter which one you call reactant 1 and which one you call reactant 2, but the calculation is simpler in this case if you take sodium hydroxide as reactant 2 because we have enough information to immediately calculate the moles of sodium hydroxide. If sulfuric acid is reactant 1, the molarity and volume of sulfuric acid are M1 and V1. The volume of sulfuric acid is given in the problem as 25.00 milliliters. The molarity of sulfuric acid is what we're being asked for. The coefficient of sulfuric acid, C1, is implied in the balance equation to be equal to 1. Our substance, 2, is sodium hydroxide, so M2 and V2 are the molarity and volume of sodium hydroxide, which are given in the problem as 0 0.500 molar and 25.00 milliliters. The coefficient of sodium hydroxide, C2, is given in the balance equation as 2. Thus, we have all the information we need to solve for the molarity of the sulfuric acid solution. We just rearrange the equation given here to solve for M1. Here's how we do the calculation step by step. Remember that we need to solve for M1. First, we calculate moles of sodium hydroxide, which is obtained by multiplying its molarity by its volume. That is, M2 times V2. Note that we need to convert our volume to liters in order to get our answer in moles. 25.00 milliliters is equivalent to 0 0.02500 liters. Then, to get the moles of sulfuric acid, M1, V1, we multiply M2, V2, which is 0 0.0125 moles of sodium hydroxide, by the ratio of the coefficients. The balance equation tells us that one mole of sulfuric acid reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide. This gives us 0 0.00625 moles of sulfuric acid. Finally, we divide moles of sulfuric acid by the volume of sulfuric acid solution in liters to get a molarity of 0 0.250 moles per liter. Therefore, the correct answer is B.